guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today I'm gonna to be checking out a lost Commodore 64 game. Um, this this game actually has a an interesting story behind it. I'm gonna leave a link to uh, where I, I read about this and um, there's going to be the, a download link where you can actually download and play this game on your emulator or if you have the C64 Mini. Um, now, uh, before, I, before we begin, I just wanna say that when I first tried to get this to work, it got to the point where uh, the game was about to begin and then it froze on me. It just, everything just went crazy. And I couldn't figure out what was going on. And then I realized that um, you have to change your settings, your video settings to, uh, from NTSC to PAL. So if you're playing with the NTSC setting on your emulator, you'll have to change that to PAL and then the game will work. Anyways, it's an interesting story. This game uh, apparently was being advertised in, you know, in the magazines and stuff. People were excited about it, and then um, it kind of disappeared. It was gone. And what what actually happened? You know, the short story is that the company went under, and the game was shelved, and then eventually lost. Uh, nobody seemed to know who programmed it, where it went, you know, what, what happened to it. Um, it was kind of a project for, for, you know, making Warner Brothers games. Now we all know that these games, like these, this title has been on other systems and stuff, you know, like the Bugs Bunny games on the Nintendo. So, um, you know, they were making an effort to put these things into video games, and apparently this one became one of the more sought after games. So it was finally uh, unearthed. Uh, the person who ran the company knew, I guess, found his copies of it, and the game has been made available. Um, so this is going to be my first real go at the game. It's really interesting. It's got a lot of great graphics. Uh, the sound is okay, but we'll, we'll get to that. So there we are. Press fire to start. I'm just going to get that up there. So the starring... So Staffy Duck starring in the Great Paint Caper. So the studios. Let's get ready to go. So you got to that point and then it would just scramble here, so... Chaining it to PAL was obviously the problem. So we're looking at Daffy Duck here. Um, I don't know what that is. I guess that, that's the uh, little marquee thingy for, for movies. Um, but yeah. And it took me a while to uh, get the controls down, because I, I didn't see any manual anywhere. Um, but I mean, it's Commodore 64, you got one button. As long as it doesn't rely on a lot of the keys uh, from the keyboard, you're good. You just kind of got to figure out the combination of, you know, fire button, up, down, left, right, down and fire button, up and fire button. Um, and, and so I, I, I figured out that there's a way to grab things. So you can just push the button, push down, and you grab. Um, looks like there's some food here. I mean, you can see, I mean, the graphics look pretty amazing. I mean, for for being on a Commodore 64, that that graphic of Daffy Duck down there, even even the character looks looks really great, and the movement is pretty good too. The jumping is pretty good. Got a nice long jump there. Doesn't feel choppy or weird. Um, of course, you're pushing up to jump. Uh, this is pretty common with the uh, Commodore 64 games. Uh, obviously, there wasn't the two buttons, so. Um, I mean, they had to decide, do they want the fire button to jump, or did they want it to do some kind of action? And in this case, the action is to pick up, um, and to get into the room. I was sitting there trying to get into the room, I'm like pushing up and everything, and I'm like, he's not going in. Like, do you not go into these rooms? Like, it's labeled one, uh, there's a lot of doors, and so eventually, I think it was just a combination of pushing down, pushing the button down and up at the exact same time. So as you can see, there's Porky Pig. Um, I guess he doesn't hurt you. You can talk to him. Uh, hi there, Buster. How are, how are... Oh. Hi there, Buster. How are you? I don't know. Am I supposed to... Have, it, have you any tips? Oh, I see. Okay, so you, you just decide what you want to ask him. Will this help? <laughs> no. Okay. You're despicable. <laughs> Goodbye, Daffy. What are you doing? I d d don't understand. Okay. Um. Okay, he just says hello. I'm all fine, thank you. Do you have any tips? 
you have any candy? I don't know. I got that food thing. Uh, okay. Well, oh, there's a door here. Okay. We gotta get in there. Can I get in? There we are. Yeah, it's it's really tricky. You gotta hit that the fire button and uh, the uh, up at the same time. It was kind of weird. Uh, what? Oh. This is kind of reminding me of that Garfield game I played a little while back. Looks like you can only pick up one thing at a time. Oh, candy, okay. That's what, uh, that's what Porky wanted, so let's go give him some candy. Um, let's see how you do that. Um, what are you doing? Um, will this help? Do you have candy? Yes. Oh. The wooden ladder is broken. No. Uh, how do I get... Did I give him the candy? Press Q to quit. <laughs> I guess I gave him the candy, because it's out of the... So maybe that was the uh, tip he gave me was... Oops. I don't know if I'm doing it right, or it just seems to be going in the door. I mean, the music gets pretty, pretty repetitive, but not too bad. I mean, it would have been better if it was actually like a Looney Tunes song. I don't know why they couldn't get the rights to the music or anything like that. That must be the wooden ladder, but I can't seem to, I don't know if I keep jumping around here. Oh! Looks like... Hey, okay. So it's just the same action as going in the door. Oh, money! I think that's money? Is that money? Okay. So we're picking up some money. I don't know what that is. A loony card. I don't know what a loony card does. Ah. Oh. Okay, I'm in an elevator. What do I do? <laughs> This is, you know, this is how we played in the back in the day, too. You, you'd usually get these games off of somebody, and you'd have no manuals, and you'd just literally just keep playing it until you figure something out. Okay, how do I get out of here? Back to the window. Oh, okay. Oh, just fell. Okay, let's check out the other door. There we are. Oh, there's a broken ladder. Okay. Donut. I wonder if the donut is health or something? Maybe I have to find a broken ladder piece somewhere. Oh, game over! Oh, I guess I wasn't paying attention to my health. <laughs> this is, a, again, this is another one of those games I probably would have played a lot of if I had this on the, when I was a kid. Let's, let's, oh, store, okay. Rats, the door is locked. Oh, okay, maybe you need the key for that. The card, maybe? Is that that card I found? Card. The door is locked again. All right. I'm not sure what that is. I guess it's gates or something. Let's, uh... I go oh yeah I was right here okay that's the broken ladder so I think I gotta go back up that other ladder I don't know if I need to keep going back there like once I got the clue from Porky there we go. there's our dollar bill again so you probably need that for the store but maybe that's the key loony card I don't know Open the door. All oh, right. Oh, I was expecting to see kind of like a store or something. Uh, a wooden plank. Maybe that fixes the ladder. So we got the food, so let's try the. Oh. 
The ladder is fixed. Sweet. Oh. How do you pick up the donut? There we go. Huh. It says 4% down there. I don't, now, I, I, I think I remember reading in the article that the game is not 100% finished. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it, like, gets to a point where it just freezes or uh, if you just... There's something missing that you just cannot complete this game. I keep getting that lunchbox, but what do I need a lunchbox for? Carry food? Ah. Jumping. Ah, okay. So this is pretty much very similar like that Garfield game I played. Um, where you just gotta kind of walk around and find stuff and then, uh, you know, figure out the clues and, you know, get yourself around the game that way. But this is pretty interesting. I'm back into the elevator here. That's, the lift is not here. What? Li oh, okay, I guess it's on a different floor. But what do you... <laughs> you have to, like, push a button or something? That looks like that uh, dog character from one of the episodes. Is that the one that had the um, the cat with him? Okay, so we're back in here again. <laughs> I wonder. Let's see if I can push some buttons here. No, nope, I don't know. <laughs> Guess I'm stuck. Yeah, I mean, this game's pretty interesting. There's a lot to, uh, to explore here and a lot to figure out. Um, I'm just going to pause the music because it's really loud in my ears. The uh, This is actually interesting. I, I'm probably going to give this another try. Um, but yeah, like I said, you can go on the website. This is free. Uh, I guess when, when they made it public, they wanted to preserve the game. So they decided to just make it free. I mean, it's Warner Brothers copyrighted. And, um, you know, sometimes people do that. They just make these, these games publicly available so everybody can play them. And it's cool that we were able to find something like this that would have been lost possibly for a very long time. Anyways, let me know what you think of the game. I thought it was pretty cool. The graphics look nice. Everything looks great. This is exactly what you would expect to see in the later uh, era of the Commodore 64. You know, these games pretty much rivaled what was coming out on things like Nintendo at the time. Anyways, hope you liked the video, hope you subscribe, talk to you later.